Did you get delivered? Did you get healed? Did he speak a word to you? Oh, but they just saw my song. So you mean to tell me God called you to come to church just for them to sing your song? He died and rose just for us to sing your song. But the Bible told me that the woman with the issue of blood, that she said, you know what? I got to get up on my knees if I just touch him. It was nowhere in the Bible that they say that if the woman said if she just touch his garment. She said, if I just touch him, I'll be made whole. When is the last time you seen or you yourself have put a demand on the anointing of God in church to say, you know what, God, I'm coming to church seeking you like never before. I'm coming to church because I'm expecting something to happen. Because I understand when the glory of the Lord manifests in a place, I understand bodies will be made whole. The deaf ears can hear. I understand that people's mindsets will be changed. Even when their husband said he was going to leave his wife, he'll change his mind and say, I because God don't spoke to me. When is the last time you heard a message at church that you had to get so excited that you had to call somebody? Girl, let me tell you what I learned. Let me tell you what the Lord did for me. Let me tell you what he showed me. Because this thing just blew my mind. Now my life is changed because I'm looking at him in a whole different way. Come on, that's what's being a question about because you understand every time I come here and I get the word of God, it's going to cause me. It's going to cause my faith to arise. I ain't going to just stay right here in the kindergarten and just say, oh, you had a good time at church. You've been, you been saved for 10 years and you're still in the kindergarten. You've been saying you've been singing on the choir. You've been on the usher board and you shout and you dance. But ain't nothing about your life changed. That's a religious person. Now I want you to turn your Bible to 2 Timothy. Because I want to show you that this ain't Pastor Alicia preaching this. I'm preaching it to you, but it's not my saying. This is the word of God. So then when you get on your own free time, you can say, okay, now I see why she say what she said. Turn your Bibles to 2 Timothy, the third chapter. When you look at 2 Timothy, the third chapter, Look at verse 1. It says, But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. Say last days. Because we are in the last days. It says people will be lovers of themselves. When the last time you told one, told one of your church members to pray for you and she said, okay, and you asked her, did she pray? Girl, I forgot. Girl, I need you to go on a fast with me. And you go on a fast with her. But when it's time for you to go on, you need her to go on a fast with you. Girl, I can't right now. Say lovers of themselves. Lovers of money. That's the love. Y'all see that in the Bible now, so I want you to see. That when you see people, I got, I got to get this. I got to make sure I got this, I got this, I got this. Where did you see that where Christ was just consumed with getting money? He told us when we seek the kingdom of God, all these things will be added up to us. Boastful. How many people do you hear boasting? Ain't nothing, don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with, 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 with saying how good God is. But every time I see you, I got this, I got that, I got that. I mean, how many souls you on say? I mean, you see church people, hey, you see leaders doing this. I got this. I got it going on because I got this. This right here because we've we been blessed. But how many souls got saved? You think Jesus going to be excited about what you got versus how many souls you don't got saved? How many people did you minister to? How many people got delivered in your service? But we said we had a Holy Ghost good time. How many projects did you go out there and minister to? Matter of fact, how many people did you minister to at all? But we got all these churches in Columbus, and we talk about what we got. So why would church? Come on. Well, that means tell me this whole state should be on fire. And it's for real. It's so real because we get caught up on the church going mindset. 